I wanted to chat you up about the AI stuff because we've been noticing you've been posting AI up the wazoo. Yes, yes. And uh, we've been into it. Like our workflow junk, um, it's a little trickier. Like, I mean, if you guys don't mind me just jumping in. and then well, Before gonna... you go into it, I wanted to just oh, yeah. say that we do have our own AI that differentiates is animal intelligence. Oh, okay. Go ahead now, Jeff. You can continue now. That's trademark. <laughs> Right. Well, con, 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 con. that's a hundred percent right. Like our AI is still not AI can't really take that over as much as it can, like writing a script or writing some copy or showing up with some images and junk. Cause what we noticed is uh, you still have to ma manage your life with all the little tiny little changes that happen. You have to be in charge of it. If you are the only person in your life, then you can just have AI schedule you and answer questions for you and all that kind of stuff. But usually, like I'm thinking back in the day, an ops guy or project management or whatever, sure. you get all the friggin' creative directors and the high account people trying to get them in the room. And one of them, you got them all in there, except the one guy's like, I changed my mind, don't want to do it. And it's like, hey, AI, where were you? Why are you yeah. out here? AI can't help you on that, nope. on that, uh, mm -hmm. on that one. But it can help you with a bunch of junk. Like sure I've seen can. some good stuff. My phone does that junk. I have I click answer the phone for me, and it's like, yep. hi, this is Google Services. Uh, that yeah. jackass can't talk to you right now. What do you want to well, say to him? You know. And part of this is that Jeff, you've made this point several times, and then Leo, we're going to shut up and let you talk. But <laughs> but AI has been with us for quite a while now. Yes. Everybody's jumping on the old bandwagon right now. But basically, we saw it creep into Google products. We've seen yeah. it everywhere. Yep. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And the the foundation of AI goes decades back, right? Even uh, even a, like a couple of decades ago, when AI was playing Jeopardy and IBM Watson and all that, right? So AI has been around this. It's actually part of us every single day. Whether you, like you said, Jeff, you're talking to your assistant, or even you're on Netflix trying to pick the next movie, or the next movie is being served to you, right? That's all AI in one way or another. Google is using AI to serve you the most relevant ads and most relevant searches, so on and so on, right? So it's it's kind of all around us. I think before we kind of jump into even like the workflow perspective or any other perspective, I think we need to take a little bit of a step back and think about different AI solutions or models or implementations, let's say, right? Uh, just for the sake of like the podcast and making it super easy, let's look at like two, right? Two main uses. So there's what you are kind of describing, which is like the large language models of let me have a conversation with you and kind of write a script and all that kind of good stuff. But then there are like the more purpose driven driven models that are hyper trained to do one thing. Right. So that could be analyze certain images that could be help me find a new medicine. Right. Or help me discover what uh, is important from this analytics and it's perfectly trained based on your information and specifically for what you want it to do, right? So I think AI is not just synonymous with like, let's talk to it and all that kind of good stuff, but that's what's making it popular now, right? Yeah, I like that, totally. that part where you're just, it's just focused on the one thing and it like just goes and kicks its ass. It's like, all right. Exactly. Uh, that, that to me seems like, you know, I read somewhere where they, it's comparing you know, medical diagnoses from one thing to the next, and then yeah. it can kind of it can go places the human mind can't quite get to so quickly. One hundred percent recognition and so forth. Yes. Yeah, and maybe less sexy, but like even in manufacturing, right? As your produce gets developed and like cherries go on a conveyor belt, you know, uh, the ones that aren't the prettiest sometimes get kicked out, or especially if there's mold or something like that. AI vision. AI is actually looking at these and like there's a tool that says, ah, this one's not good, 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 not good, right? So that's just like one little simple tool that's a repetitive thing that would you have to pay someone to do that they wouldn't be as efficient, they'd get tired and all that. So that's a big aspect of AI that's happening right now on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Yeah. Probably more than this large language models kind of stuff. Like because people don't really understand it. They don't know how to include it into their workflows. So I'd say like AI is all around this based on like the examples we gave for your phone or examples you gave for or we gave for Netflix and manufacturing and science and things like that. That's probably where AI is being used the most. But that doesn't necessarily touch like my life day to day, right? Or uh our cousins, brothers, sisters, cousins, chickens, goats chickens. every single day. Yeah. I figured you're like in a fairy tale kind of land nowadays, Jeff, with your background there. So I figured it uh, makes sense with the animal intelligence too. Totally. Yeah. We got we got chickens, we got all kind of animal 
animal intelligence. Well, I think it'll be funny when it can, um, when it can sense your emotions from your behavior. Yes. That's when I think it's going to be super rock and roll and you'll have all the robots doing all that junk being like, bra, you look sad today, bra. And you'll be like, I'm not sad. <laughs> I like that it says bra. Yeah. Because, why not? <laughs> I think the funny thing is, you know, today AI can do that. The thing is we have narrow AI, right? Like there are different tools that do specific things. Like let's uh, compare them to us as humans, right? Uh, we could see, we could hear, we could think, we could feel, we could touch, right? But right now that is all separated. There's a tool that 100% I've seen it the other day that looks at emotions and this person's happy, this person's sad, this person's this, this person's that, right? 100% does it. There's another tool, like you said, uh, could go ahead and answer the phone for you and have a conversation. There's another tool. The problem is they're not all together. Smash that like button and subscribe and tell your grandmas and grandpas to do it. X -con 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 -con.